All told, the first three days of Haley's life cost us about $100,000. My youngest daughter was born in 2010, right before the pre-existing clause went into effect. And she was a little early, nothing critical, just a few weeks, relatively easy birth. And then she turned blue and she had to go to the NICU within 20 minutes of being on the planet. The second she hit the NICU, our insurance stopped covering her care. They didn't cover any testing. They didn't cover her three days in the NICU. They didn't cover the CPR class that we had to take to get her out. They didn't cover the medical device that she needed to come home, which was a sleep apnea monitor. Nothing in those three days was covered outside of her delivery. Haley had a respiratory virus. She spent a week in the hospital on oxygen and monitoring. The first three days that was not covered just to stay, just to physically be present, it was $15,000 a day. That's not doctor's fees, that's not medication, that's not diagnostics. Just to be present, it was $15,000 a day. All told, the first three days of Haley's life cost us about $100,000. That was out-of-pocket expenses. We had insurance for her, but it was considered pre-existing, and I had only been with my company for about four months, so they refused to cover anything. Finally, in 2014, quite honestly, we had to file bankruptcy. We couldn't keep up. All of our bills were falling behind. We could barely keep the lights on and keep food on the table because of the hospital bills, the constant medical bills that kept piling in. So we ended up filing Chapter 13 bankruptcy, and we were put on a five-year plan to pay it off. The ACA, it's impacted my entire household. So the ACA has allowed us access and also allowed us to keep the lights on, to keep food on the table and, and to make sure that my kids are getting the care they need while still getting the life that they deserve. There's still times, you know, even now, that we struggle to get the deductibles paid. We struggle to meet the incoming bills. The out-of-pocket max, I meet it every year. I hit our deductible by probably three months into the plan. I would much rather pay a flat tax and pay a set amount for medications. I'll happily pay any taxes required as long as I know that I'm not gonna go bankrupt again trying to keep my family alive. You know, how is that fair?